Hold it. Let me see your hands. Now. Okay. My name's Phil. I sleep here. What's the word on our John Doe, and what the hell was he doing in that alley? No solicitation here. It's a vice couldn't ID him from the photo of the prince, so he's not a known pro. Doctors found three different blood types in the semen. This looks like a rape gangbang. Good money's on a hate crime. Perps are usually hetero or closeted and in denial. Well, there was a ring on his finger, so maybe he's cheating. Went out, picked up the wrong guys in the meat market. John, you're on missing persons. While you two canvass that bar, see if our John Doe introduced himself around. Place. TV's on. It's a good sign. Oh, what? Wesley Jensen. Yeah. Can we come in? Nice place. Sure beats a hospital room. Yeah, I'm gonna pay for that bill, I swear. This isn't about the bill, it's about your assault. Yeah. Okay. We'd like you to come down to the station so we can take your statement or, uh, we can take you back to the hospital. Look, I don't have any insurance. I didn't see the guy who attacked me, so... I was mugged. It happens all the time, right? So why are you packing? I just, uh... Thought I'd take a break from the city. You seem a little... A little jumpy, a little nervous. Even scared? I was attacked. How should I act? Someone after you? No. You being threatened? No. Wesley. We know about the rape. It's crazy. Well, we've got semen from three different men and a gunshot wound here. What are you doing out of bed? You're gonna kill yourself. Hey, Daddy. Hey, baby. Are you the police? Yeah, we're here about Wesley's assault. I'm Jaina, Wesley's wife. This is Armara. Here's your pills. Thanks. Do you catch that mugger? No, sweetheart, I told him that I'd be okay. Uh, we're still gonna want Wesley to come down to the station to answer a few questions. Maybe when he's feeling better. Precinct or hospital, your choice, but we need a statement now. Maybe you knew your hubby was making a drug deal and you don't call that into the police. You've got Wesley involved with drugs? No, I don't. But it's just like you to blame me for this. He never gave us any trouble until he met you. Yeah, I suppose I seduced him, too. Got pregnant on purpose so he'd marry me. I wouldn't put it past a slut like you. Whoa, Wesley whoa, whoa. loves now, me. Now, cut it out, you two. Miss Jensen, wait in the captain's office or leave. You park it and chill out. What the hell's going on? That lady called Mommy a slut. What does that mean? Wesley. So I'm white. Let's go. What? Wesley. May I help you? Jana Jensen? Is she in some kind of trouble? If you could just wait, I'll let him know back there. Come on, Jana. That's it, honey. That's it. Good. Pick up the pace a little. Joey, just kneel down behind her. All right? A little more to the left. Good. 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 Jana. What are you doing here? You ruined my shot. Who are you? Police. We need to talk to Jana. All right. No, no, no. no. Everybody just relax. We're not doing anything illegal here. OK? I'm Cal Oman, the director of this film, and I assure you things in order. But this isn't about you. Can we do this later, please? No, Jana, you need to get dressed, because we need to talk. Well, actually, she doesn't have to if she's not under arrest. We're making a movie here. Time is okay, money. Stand over there, please. Now, you know that Wesley's back in the hospital? Yeah, he called. Gonna I was going to call him back on my break. Is he OK? He's fine. Look, All right. if I don't work, I don't get paid, and we need this money. I'm not going to have to call a lawyer. Give me, give me the phone. Why do you call two? They'll both tell you to stay out of it. Look, get a warrant or get lost, all right? This is my building, and I don't want you here. Mommy, can I have quarters for this soda machine? Gina, I'm sorry. I tried to get her, but I couldn't stop her. What in the hell is your daughter doing on a porn set? Can I 
see my daughter, please? She needs me. You couldn't find a babysitter? No. Wesley's sick. I had to take her with me. What about your in-laws? Why not ask them? So they can teach her to hate me. Besides, nobody can take care of Mark except me and Wes. It was a... I need to get her home. You're not going anywhere, neither is Mara. I didn't do anything wrong. We're charging you with child endangerment. You took your daughter to a porn set. It's not exactly a healthy and safe environment for kids. Please don't do this. If I go to jail, who takes care of Mara? Either children's services or your in-laws. She has cystic fibrosis. She needs constant care. I'm doing the best that I can. There's doctor visits and shots, pills. Wesley's the only one that knows how to do her chest therapy. And somebody has to bring in a paycheck. OK, we'll consider putting you on notice. That means children's services will check in on you from time to time. What's the catch? Well, it's pretty obvious that Wesley doesn't care about his own well-being. Do you? I can't help you. Jaina, somebody tried to kill your husband. You cooperate with us, and you can walk out that door. Did you find any other prints besides our perps? None. No smudges and no partials. But I did find prints belonging to the victim on the other rounds inside the weapon. That doesn't make any sense unless you wiped it clean. Can you tell us which hands made the prints? He's right. That's a tight trigger. Wesley doesn't have the dexterity to fire that gun. So why did he wipe it off and put his prints all over it? Who's he been protecting from day one? Have you fired a gun recently? No. Then you'll agree to a gunshot residue test. Why? If we find traces of gunpowder on your skin or on your clothes, you're going to need to explain that to a judge. Gunpowder doesn't wash off right away, so if there are traces, we can find it. We're going to need the clothes that you were wearing the day Cal Oman was shot, so are they in this bag here or on the floor? This isn't happening. The court will probably go easy on you. A terminally ill child. You were a minor who was coerced into child pornography. There won't be a dry eye in the house. We know you shot Cal Oman. We just have to get you to the lab, and we can prove it. He slapped me around. He threatened me. I had to shoot him. He was shot in the back, Jaina, trying to escape. You didn't know him. I had to defend myself. So then you let Wesley make the sacrifice. I was a wreck. I told him what happened. I, I didn't ask him to. But he knows Mara needs me. But you're not going to Arkansas to be with her. You're leaving your child with her grandparents. You don't understand what it is like to be trapped with a sick kid doing three guys at a time to pay off my debts. I have a $50,000 contract waiting for me in Las Vegas, and Cal would have taken all of it. He was never going to let me go. Well, neither will Bedford Hills, at least not for 15 years minimum. <laughs>